everybody, my name is Waylon JP, and welcome to Lost Planet 3. Now, I never played, I played this game a long time ago, and I only played the demo version of it on the Xbox 360, so I never played the full version of it, but we're gonna go ahead and start, and we're gonna do easy, and we're gonna start a new game. I did play it a little bit, not much, nothing to elect any major spoilers to get the controls working and the uh, camera set up, uh, the recording station set up, so I can... Uh, get it all smooth and whatnot, but it's nice. There's also a cutscene before this, so I'm gonna shut up. So I'm gonna turn that down a bit. Holy shit, that is loud. Alright. Also, today's prom. Grandfather? Hello? Grandfather! I'm not that old. Please, please say something. Oh, well, we're old. What? what is it? You're on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay calm. I'll dig you out. <clears throat> Your harmonizer's toast, but I gave you mine. There's not much tea energy to draw on. Did it work? Are they safe? I think so. What happened? Kevin gave me cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another punch is through. Good, good. Whoa, nice armor, dude. You need to be gone when they do. Fat chance, old man. You're my lamp alien. I'm not leaving you in here. <sighs> Damn it, why can't I move this thing? <clears throat> You're as stubborn as your grandmother. <clears throat> This is actually really nice, lo really looking good. This is all my fault. If I just listened to you. No, you were right. I deserved every word. No, just forget about that, please. It doesn't matter. It does. When you've been keeping secrets so long, it's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. Come on. Stop. Come on. Damn it. Damn. It's stuck there. Stop. I bet he's on he has internal bleeding. You know, back on earth. My father believed you had to confess your sins. If you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance, but maybe this is mine. The Earth was a troubled place when I left it. I was 32 when they recruited me. A bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored That is an awesome transition. 50 years ago now. So I'm guessing that was in the future, but the game is in the past, 50 years ago. So that's what I'm guessing? Half a century? Okay, that is the introduction of it. That's really cool. S oh, we're space! Space! Yes! Space! Nice ship. Oh. What? Oh. Is that a pod or is that. Okay. I'm not gonna question it. I do not know anything about this game. Whoa! <laughs> nice graphics. I don't know how old this game is, but it's really awesome looking. Look at that! Uh-oh. Something did Well, it just had to go wrong, didn't it? Uh-oh. Going down. Zoink Scoob! Zoink Scooby Steve! Alright, I'm gonna pause that. I think I'm gonna turn down the volume. Hold on, give me a sec. Oh. Okay, I'm back. So let's continue. I turned up the volume and turned down the volume on my headphones so I won't yell. That is still a little bit loud. Hold on. 
boink, to 66 should be. Okay, that's perfect, so. Welcome to Lost Planet 3. I never played the first Lost Planet yet, or the second one, actually. God damn, it's cold. How long you reckon before they come for us? Depends on how off course we were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. Well, that's not good. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. Stay here while I track it down. I think this w it was different. I think I was playing Lost Planet 2 instead of Lost Planet 3. Uh, it was a demo where you had to kill a six-legged monster that eats you. It has three glowing tons, and it's weird. And it was awesome. I played it so much, and I couldn't stop playing it when I was younger. I was like about eight or nine, and I had a tendency for violent games like Call of Duty, Gears of War. Oh my god, the sensitivity. Ah, that's not good. Let me turn the... Nope, not good. Do, do, do. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no. Let's do it there and there. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. What's that noise? Doc, I don't think we're alone out here. Uh, wait, is it? Oh, nave markers. I think this is. Oh, that's for the objective. Look at this place. So, after this video is over, I am gonna go and search up YouTube uh, to see. Oh, what? Whoa! Kaboom, indeed. That wasn't the transponder. It's good. It's cool how you can automatically crouch. What was that? I saw that. Oh God! Oh, let's get some light in here. Do we have a flashlight. Oh my god, look at this place. Oh, it's so gross, too! Ah! Uh... What was that? I saw something peek out at me! Uh... Okay, I'm honestly getting scared now. I'm getting scared! Help! Oh god! Yeah! What are those? What? What are those? Oh god. Hi! Oh fuck. Oh, you're so creepy. I don't have a gun, do I? Oh, I do! Yes! Extra combat. Oh, it's a pistol. Do I have a. Alright, here we. Alright, so that's the way out. Is there a way to turn off the flashlight in here? Okay then! Oh, I'm hearing stuff. That doesn't sound good. God, I love the way this game is intricately made. Right, let's go. Keep an eye out. Ah! Run out! Going down. Ouch. Oh my god! Ow! Run! Oh fuck. Ah, I'm cornered! I hear him. God damn. Some... Markers. Oh, so B is uh, melee. G, H, G, K, L, O. Kaboom. 
Wish I had a better gun. That's all I wish for. All right, let's sprint. Found the transducer. Always the last place you look. Always the last place you look, indeed. All right, let's pick it up. Uh oh. Oh God, that's a lot. Holy balls! I'm not gonna move. Why do you want me to aim down the sights? Oh god, what are those? Oh god! Hi! Oh, you're big. Ah, ah. What the? Oh, that's a cable. What? Oh my god, that is a big guy. Big mess. The cavalry has arrived. The cavalry has arrived indeed. Nice! Hi buddy! How are you? Save. How are you one? Oui oui, le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Get back to the supply drop and try not Oops. What did I do? Was that supposed to happen? Oh, Dr. Kendrick. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, my name's Hutchings. Friendly Frenchman's LaRoche. So, you're not packing a long-range firearm, are you? Unfortunately. Um, but somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. Give me I'm a second. I'm going to retire to I the relative safety people. of the interior. As well as Good French. Good luck up here. That is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> yes, do we get in a tank? Please tell me it's a tank. Is that a tank? No. Was it a tank? Hold on. You folks are lucky you made it down in one piece. That's the drill. Dr. Roman insists your entry corridor was clear, so who knows what that was about. I don't know He's either. wrong about a lot of things lately. Lately, so that was... Oh, what magnificent specimens. Please, please, kill them. So this is what the recruiter meant by non-aggressive indigenous creatures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy, you're going to learn to take things Navic tells you with a grain of salt. In fact, some days you might need a bucket of the stuff. You sound like Diaz. Hey, say what you will. She raised some valid questions. Yeah, sure, sure. You mean she blathered insane conspiracy theories every time you're trying to drink in peace? Why even work for a company if you accuse it of such things? Who's this Diaz? Sounds like a character. She's the one you're replacing. A contractor like you and I. Okay. And she disappeared. Wait, she... I don't know what's going on. It's really hard to talk. Because I'm just enjoying the experience. Very stale, and also the pornography. Uh, that's Braddock's gun. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, crap! Going away! Jump! What's happening up there? Have you, you been killed? <laughs> no, I made it in one piece somehow. What now? Your environment suit is within a vehicle range of my reach. You should be seeing extra tactical readouts, minimap, radar, Whoa. royal details. As long as you stay close to the rig, you may come home. Good deal. Use your radar to see advancing enemies. Look now! Hey, Zubi, pick up the growing orange blood the animals leave behind. Ah, hey, goddammit! I wasn't paying attention. Oh god! Reload! Ah, reload. Quick! Ah! Jesus! I see one right there. I'm gonna get stuck. Ah, pick up the glowing stuff. Boink! The snow cat's been damaged. Hey, you're in construction, right? So right, right. This thing. Yeah, I'll try. Problem. Give me a second. 
All right, let's go. No B. No auto repair. No. You have to find the proper repair frequency. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do yourself. Huh? We're hearing more. I'm fucking paranoid right now. Alright, I just gotta keep going. Come on! Repair. Repair, quickly. Faster, faster, faster! I'm hearing stuff! Oh! I don't know if that's the snow cat or Okay, you're all set. Oh crap. Oh, I'm gonna go back! Need the rig, need the rig, get to the rig, get to the rig, 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 rig! Survive! Reload! Oh fuck! I'm on my way, I'm on my way! Let me grab this stuff and kill some more! I think I'm gonna need this stuff in the future, like for... Like, look, I got 1,500 whatever those are. It's about 1,600 now. Reload! I love this game. I'm hearing more. I wish I had a long-range weapon instead of a pistol. Oh, I can see them. They're everywhere now. Oh, God. Wait, where am I going? Oh, this way. Return to the pod. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, we're supposed to go here. Duh, I'm super stupid. I'm stupid, apparently. Eat a poor pod. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on to what? Aye, aye, hold That was my introduction to EDM3. Baptism by fire. The rest of the trip to base camp was uneventful, but our calm didn't last for long. Apparently. So I wonder how good this game is going to be, like, in the future. Uh, I want to see Look, how good the... Oh. You weren't her only friend on this base. We all missed Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette. You know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though. I never said that. You didn't have to. You just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nefik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... <laughs> it's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach. I see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? In some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Yikes. Okay. Sassy. And you must be Jim Payton. Here, you really stepped up out there, huh? You must have a million questions. I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. Uh, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Just use the sun. Sacred blood. It's to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevik believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best without boundaries. I mean, the only problem, the only solution you could use is solar power. Use the sun's energy, like solar energy. Like, take Subnautica, for example. Use that, and it's easier to get power. Not nuclear energy, not... Just point me to my rig. We get to go on a rig? Baton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the Acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, 
as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Oh, Sorry goody. To see that. You know, Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that okay, what that was? I it Wow, was I can't wait to play this game. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different right, now. Let's go. I'm Oink. sure she'll be a cooperative and productive member of your team. Uh, you Yoink. And go in here. Wait, backspace to access job log? That's backspace? Yeah. Find Gail. Radic wants me to report to the lead tech a girl named Gail. She's at the service pit on the elevator. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is that enter track? Oh! Boink. Ooh, what is this? Text log. I'm not gonna read that. I know. I mean, look at this place. This is... Attention. The water pipes in East Block will be frozen over for Ooh, barracks. This job because Braddock didn't seem like too much of a nevic toady. But the way he buckles to these crazy rules, man. I, here we are in a turf war with these acrid day to day, hour to hour. But if we put weapons on a rig, oh no, then we're not a science op, but a military op, and Braddock doesn't get to be in charge. Like anyone's gonna rat him out for letting us protect ourselves. Yikes. I guess. Whoa, hi. Nevic survival tip number Crazy three. Meal. Don't stray from warm areas without an environment suit. No shit. Your Nevic designed suit will keep you warm and safe in even the most inhospitable environments. Inhospitable Be environments. Your suit overnight and stay within range of an umbilical field at all times. Stay happy. Stay warm. Okay, who, well, let's talk to Crazy Neil. Oh, hey. Cold enough for you? It's never cold enough for Crazy Neil. Ice in me veins. <laughs> Australia! Back home, I used yes! to spend summers at McMurdo Base in Antarctica. Long family tradition. My great 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 grandfather took part in Operation Deep Freeze, and my great 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 grandmother was a penguin. Now that's a joke, son. You understand? I want to be clear. There ain't nothing funny about sex in a penguin. Not even if they're begging for it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cute little bastards, but temperamental. Kind of bitchy, matter of fact, but say what you will about them, they hardly ever try to eat your head. You know not to eat the snow, right? Why? Uh, okay, Crazy Neil. I guess we know why he's called crazy. Text log. I'm just gonna only listen to the audio logs, not the text logs, because they, because it will take way too much time. Oh, what happened here? Oh, it snowed in. Great. Wait, there was another person over here. Where was it? Okay, is there anything? Oh wait, this is the barracks, not the armory. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What is that? Oh, this is the main hallway. All right, let's go and meet Gale. So this is an awesome game. Oh, a new person. Hi, nice to see you. All right, let's go to the elevator. Do 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 la -de -de. Activate elevator. We're going to the basement level. And this is where the armory is and T energy What is T energy tanks are? Last while on foot, post your nav markers to display breadcrumbs leading to active quests. Ooh, I like that. I like Hello? I know everyone's excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. Hi. So I'm guessing 50 years later after this happened, Nevik turns into a military op? I'm guessing whoever wrote that audio log was right and everything went to shit and everything just went out of proportion. So I'm guessing this is where Gale is. Gale? Room and fish? Room and fish? Hey man, you'll have to forgive my brother. He's not a morning person and it's been morning here for three months. My brother, you always do watch. No jokes, always joking. Norm, Norm, Norm. Anyway, welcome to Coronas. 
We're a skeleton crew right now, but that'll change as soon as we can prove T Energy's a cost effective power source. If we can. Do you ever need toilet paper? I'm your man. TP is like gold around here. You remember that. Thanks. You take care. I kill right now. I'm telling you. You kill and kill with an echo. I'm confused. Uh, all right, let's go get Gale. T energy ca canister. What? Oh, that's the stuff from the uh, creatures. Okay. Uh, sorry, my mom just came in. All right, so we need to go talk to Gale this way. Ah, here we are. Oh, Gale! Jim. Jim, outstanding. Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. You want to point me in the direction of your boss? Oh, uh, Mr. Braddock? I think you'd have seen him already, but yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know, I hear it all the time, girl's name, should I be Oh, 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 I get it, okay. I understand your concern. Sorry for the misdemeanor. Don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood, I read you. Listen, kid, <laughs> Gail, how about we do the get to know you as while we work on putting my rig together? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, are you serious? Uh, yeah, it was shipped ahead in pieces. <laughs> now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Come again. It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. Well, that was quick. What finishing touches? Oh, he looks some pissed. Loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you think on an ice planet. Get it? <laughs> ice planet? Because the heat. Kid. Went. Listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two? You follow? Yikes, he looks very pissed. That is my whole nest egg. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. And? And secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? There we go, now. I you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. I want to go to the armory! Where's the armory? Where's the armory? Oh, shut up! Where's the map? Where's the map? Where's the map? Map, map, where's the map, map, map? Why does no thing look right? Why is it? Oh, that's a motion tracker. Ah, handy that. So where's the armory? Where is the armory? Oh wait. Utility rig is not there. That's the shop. I want to go there. I just want to go there. So where are we? All right, so we're right there. So we can go down there, go down the corner and take a first left. 10-4, let's go. I think I need to go, oh, I'm pressing E instead of W. <laughs> so down and left. Ah, uh, this is where we need to go first. I need to go. Gun! Oh, come on! Nothing? Really? Oh, what a bunch of more. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Quartermaster, Quartermaster Birdie. I heard the whole hangar John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the Quartermaster. Name's Bowers. But most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? 
All right, pal. Take your time eyeballing the oh, wires. Oh, no. I'll stay out of your hair. Fine. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, confirm. Quality hunting knife. Top of the line for up close protection. Top of the line. A lifetime I want a shotgun. guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it. I want a shotgun. I can I can make I can now get that's that. That's a sweet one. Pump action, nine shot capacity, synthetic stock and forearm. She's okay. ideal for your close quarters combat. Stock. Okay. Come back any time, eh? Use munitions locker to yeah. assign weapons. Nice sites. meeting you, Birdie. Yeah, it was nice meeting you too. All right, so one. So that's weapon slot one. What do I do? So I have a pistol too. So what do I? Pump action. Nice. We got our first gun. We got some money. Well, we need to go this way. So we can always come back here for more stuff when we get more uh, T energy. What is that? What it's called? T thermal energy? I don't know. So let's go meet up with Braddock. Uh, Habushki. And go up. No, wait, we're going here, weren't we? No, wait, I can't remember anymore. Oh, God, I can't remember. I'm forgetful. Uh, current mission. Go to your rig. Ah. So, rig bay. It's in the rig bay. Okay, meet you at the rig bay, guys. Okay, we're going to the rig bay, uh, which is on level two, uh, to test out our new rig that Gale put, put it together. Put together just last week, apparently. Ooh. Let's go here. I guess this is where we need to talk to Gale. Hey, Gale. Nice to see you again. This though. <laughs> what was that? Was that a? Oh, you ready to try this? Dry treated hypertensile kern retractors. I like to call it the Cockpit Express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in, give the line a tug, shoop. And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from ten meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I love Gale. He's awesome looking. Whoa. Here we go on the rig line. Oh my god, I'm a first person! Move mouse one. Oh yes. That sounds like a Gears of War Lancer. Listen. Wow. Watch it. Notice how much faster your arm swings. Yep, from yours truly. Okay, just a few more tests. It so sounds like a Gears of War Lancer. Listen. Great. Lastly. I upgraded the shielding on your rig for Aces to class 4. Oh, I can't have... I can't wait to have fun with this. Q to block. Beautiful! You'll be using that move here on EDM 3 more than you have probably on any other job. Sweet! We're done! Let's release your rig! Be free! Oh, yes! LaRoche, come in. Corona's base to LaRoche, do you copy? God damn it, we can't lose LaRoche now. We barely have Diaz replaced. Hey, Chief. Jim Payton here. You copy? Payton, is your rig online already? Yep. Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end it here. Wait, where do I... Uh-oh. I'll be right back. See if this worked.
Well, shit. Alright, well, I guess this is as good a place as any to st stop here. At least I didn't have to go back all the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was Lost Planet 3, and I'm sorry for not doing uh, what you guys want me to do in the poll. I will send out another video later tonight after I get home from prom, and we're going to have a good time. Uh, so, oh, hi. How are you? So... Yeah, I'll see you guys there. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to come back for another episode. This is an awesome game, and I love the way it is already. Even though the graphics are kind of old, I love it uh, all the same. I just love it, so, yeah. Uh, see you later, Jim. Jim News! Run, Jim, run! It's come to my attention that two ice augers and a rock are missing from the equipment jack. Bye.